we're going to begin our lab by setting up a basic web application using Node. So I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to create a new folder. I will call mine um, my CPass app. It's a weird name, by the way. And I'm going to CD on my CPass. Now in here I need to create another folder. I'm going to call this public and I need a couple of files inside it. The first is going to be index.html. I will also will create client.js and finally I will create server.js in the root folder. Now I'm going to open a code editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, but you can use the one you like. Okay. Let's begin by uh, adding the code to index.html. It's going to be a typical uh, HTML file. So we have a head here and a title. The title I'm going to put WebRTC CPass example. Uh, also, let's add a body. And the body have an H1, which will say the same WebRTC CPass example. Now let's create a div with the ID of select room and the style of display block. Uh, we're going to use the same strategy that we used for the first chapter in which we create a simple HTML file uh, in with the login room or with the login screen that is going to hide after login so that's what we use in the style display block here i need a label that's going to say type our room name let's also add an input with id room type text and a button for logging in the enter here we're gonna put go okay now let's create the other div it's going to be uh, uh, id indios it will be hidden by default so this play is going to be none and we only uh, we're not going to put any video element here those are going to be managed by talkbox so we only need a div with the ID of publisher and another one with the ID of subscribers uh, subscribers like that okay now we only need a couple of scripts that we're gonna use so the first one is going to be the open talk client library so that's it's available at https static dot open talk dot com version 2 we are accessing the JS file and the name of the file is opentalk.min.js and let's also add the client script the local client script that we have here and to do so we're only going to put client.js okay so we have our index.html file ready now let's move on to the client in which uh, for now we are only going to reference the 
HTML element that we have just created. So uh, we will use the same format that we've used before, input room, and here are going to access the document and the element by ID. Now, I'm going to speed up the video here, but be sure to add all the reference for all the HTML tags. Okay, now let's add some code to the server side. Uh, for now, we're just going to initialize a very simple express application. So let's add the constant for express. Let's require the library. But first, let's install it. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to do npm install. Oh wait, first we need to initialize the current project as a node project. So let's do npm init uh, with the dash g. And now install. I, need, I, I want to add this to the package.json, so I'm going to add the dash s flag. And I'm going to write express. Now let's wait a couple of minutes. Okay, so I have the dependency installed. I can get back to the code and add the remaining code. I have an app. It's going to be equal to express. This is going to be my application. Now let's add some basic routing. First, I will add the a, a static route to the public folder. Now, let's set the listener on port 3000. Here I'm going to add an anonymous function and to, sim to simply print a friendly message that the, the, that the application is running. Listening on 3000. Okay, we're ready. We have now a basic web application that will serve as a base and we will add all the related content on top of it. When you're ready, move to the next lesson.